Okay, so this is how to data transfer um, modified patches from a jailbroken PS3 to a non-jailbroken PS3. So first of all, what you need? You need two PS3s, obviously, because they're right here. Then, you need an Ethernet cable, and then you need two different controllers, or you can have one, but then you need the freaking USB cable to link them. And then, what you're going to have to do? One of them has to be on 3.41 or 3.55 and jailbroken. It needs to be jailbroken. Okay. Then what you want to just want to do is obviously turn everything on. This doesn't matter if it's a patch cord or an Ethernet cord. They both work. Because your PS3 is not a retard. And it can detect whichever one it is. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into... Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to stay on the... This is the 3.70 official firmware. You want to be in the highest firmware. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to go in each of your accounts, and then you're going to want to deactivate them. Otherwise, you'll be data transferring over your account. And then you'll get the five account thing, where it won't let you download shit. Okay. So you go to account management, system, system activation. I don't say that fucking wrong anyway. Deactivate the system. Okay. And then you can just delete that account right there. Because it's it's bull crap. You're not even gonna use it until you data transfer. And then you're gonna want to go into your second account. I don't even think I set this up. Nope, so just delete it. You want to keep one account, otherwise, I mean, you can't, you have to have one account, otherwise, your PS3 is broken. Something happened. <laughs> okay, so now what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to, you're going to want to make sure that you're signed out, and you want to go to network settings, and you just want to disable this shit. Users. Internet connection, media server, because... You don't want to um, anybody to detect that you're giving over modified patches. And then just to show you that I am on 3.70, I'm not bullshitting you. Right here you can see, but anyway. Put this up. Right there, 3.70. Okay. Now. What you're going to want to do is you are going to want to, this is all ready, you just turn this off. Okay, and then you go over to your jailbroken thing, jailbroken PS3. Okay, now you want your other controller. And then you're just going to want to go in here, and this should not be online because, I mean, if you're online, you're on 3.70, and this is not going to work for you, so just back out of this freaking video. Okay, so then you want to go. I just to show you this is on 3.55. Piece of shit. Okay, right there, 3.55. Now we we are going to post another video on how to put custom patches onto a game. We'll be doing a different video each time. Well, a different game each time, so you don't have to worry about that. And then um, what you're gonna want to do? Yeah, like I said, this shouldn't be signed in, but you can still be on the internet browser, so you just want to disable this shit. And then, you're completely ready for data transfer, because, well, if you have any accounts, you shouldn't have any accounts, because if you make an account on your 3.55, you're never going to be able to deactivate it, so you're basically screwed. So, you just want to turn off both systems. And you want to completely turn them off, not just so they're on standby, you just want to click them off in the back. Hold on. Okay. Turn them completely off. Then, you're going to want to take your Ethernet cord. Okay. Then you're going to want to plug them in to the slots in the back where you would for a normal wired connection. You just want to plug one end into your non jailbroken PS3 and the other end into your jailbroken PS3. Okay. Now you're going to want to turn them on relatively at the same time. 
I mean, don't wait five minutes to turn the other freaking PS3 on because then it's not even going to detect shit. Okay, so then turn them both on, link both controllers, and then you're going to want to go to your jailbroken PS3 first. And I was already on it. Piece of shit. I think I just told you that. No, I didn't. Okay. So then I think this is my. Wait. This is my jailbroken. Okay, so then you want to go on your jailbroken PS3 and you want to go down to system settings. Then you want to go to uh, this data transfer utility. Then you're going to want to click OK. Then you're going to want to go from this system. So choose one. Option one, transfer data from the system to the other PS3. So jailbroken to non-jailbroken. That's what you want to do. So jailbroken. Just click now on trophies. Piece of shit doesn't work. So hit OK. And then you're going to want to go over to HDMI 1, which is your other PS3. It probably is not going to be HDMI 1 for you, but whatever. Then you're going to want to go into system settings. Everything's already deactivated, so you don't have to worry about that. Go into system settings. And go to data transfer utility. Then you're going to want to hit OK. And then select option 2. Then it's going to say, please wait. And then it's going to pop up with either two, with either, yeah, two options. It's either going to go through with it and say you need to format your hard disk, or it's going to give you an, like an error, basically. It's going to say, plug an Ethernet cord in, which it didn't. So you're going to want to click, yes, this is going to erase everything, okay? So if you don't want to do that, then just back out of the video, because that's what you need to do to get a modified patch, okay? Click yes. Format should not take long whatsoever. And then just comment or personal message me if you're having any problems. Because when I first did it, I had a pretty good amount of problems. Because it told me that there was no Ethernet cable connected, even though for damn sure there was an Ethernet cable connected. So what you need to do is you just need to restore the file system, which is not hard. Just PM me if you need a video on that, too. We're actually just going to make a video on that, just for any problems. It's not hard. <clears throat> what it does is basically, before before the data transfer utility, it's checking to see if there's any corrupted files. And if you do have corrupted files within the hard drive, I mean, it's not going to let you data transfer, because why is it going to send over shit files to a PS3 and just make it shit? So, so yeah. All you do is restore the file system on both PS3s. If you restore the file system on the jailbroken PS3, nothing's going to happen. You're going to keep your jailbroke, jailbreak along with your homebrew. I mean, nothing's going to happen. So I'm right now waiting for this. It's completely at, you cannot see shit. Um, but it is at 29%. And it says approximately one minute. Um... I don't know why it says minutes. It should be minute, but anyway. Um, that just depends on how much um, data you're transferring over. I barely have nothing on my jailbroken PS3 to be transferring over to my 3.66. So, not 3.66, 3.70. So it's going to take very little. It's a 40 gig hard drive, and I have like 2 gig of shit on it. So, I mean, it's not going to take long at all. Right now it's at 80%, 81, 82, and it's going fairly quick. But yeah, like I said, I mean, if you have like 150 freaking gigs on your jailbroken and you're transferring it over, I mean, expect on 45 minutes to an hour. This should be done any second. What are you going to want to do? You want to link your controller back up. You don't have to do it right now, but it's going to say you need to link it back up. So now once it says this, just to show you, I mean, it says it on both screens. So I'm not like faking you out here. See, it says it on both screens. Data transfer, operation complete. So then you're going to want to go to your non jailbroken device. And I think I actually put the wrong patch on, but I'm not positive. So you're going to want to go to your non jailbroken device. Just hit circle. Hit circle on your other controller just to back out of that crap. 
say it a couple more times just to make sure you're out of that. And then what you're gonna want to do is right now your custom patch that was on your jailbroken device is now currently on your non-jailbroken device. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna say that you have Common Genius Awesome File Manager. It doesn't work. Delete it. I can show you that it doesn't work. Watch. It gives you an error. Because it is on a 3.70 non-jailbreakable firmware. So it's not gonna allow you to use homebrew. As you can see, error has occurred. So delete it. Because it's just a waste of space. Then what we're gonna want to do is if you already didn't have it, there you go. This is for World of War actually. And if you already didn't have the data, I mean you can just look right here and there you go, you got your data. Then you're gonna want to plug your your disk in. Actually, no. I'm gonna make a video on um using the mods just because uh just to save time. So yeah, that's how you data transfer. Um comment, rate, and subscribe.